In this video, we are going to discuss a gate problem related to homogeneous state model. That means, this problem is based on solution of state equation. We already had a topic related to solution of non-homogeneous state equation in that we are having homogeneous solution. So, this problem is based on that homogeneous solution. You can observe the problem here given the homogeneous state space equation x dot is equal to a matrix A into x of t and the steady state value of x axis is equal to limit t tending to infinity into x of t. We need to find out x, x ss steady state error and given the initial state of x of 0 equal to 10 comma minus 10 whole transpose. So, first of all to find out steady state value they give an equation like limit t tending to infinity into x of t. If you know x of t by this equation we can easily find out this x s s, but here we do not know that x of t. So, what is the way to find out that x of t means by using the homogeneous solution we can find out x of t. So, before this video, it is better to watch the solution of a non-homogeneous state equation is preferred. In that, I clearly mentioned which is the homogeneous solution and which is the forced solution. And here for any state model, so if that is a forced system, the homogeneous solution is equal to x of t is equal to e power a t into x of 0. So, this e power a t is equal to state transition matrix phi of t. So, how we can find out this phi of t? So, they given x of 0. If you know phi of t, then you can substitute this phi of t here and you can get this x of t. By substituting x of t here, you will get x s s. So, here the state transition matrix to find out state transition matrix, the formula is inverse Laplace transform of SI minus A whole inverse. First, we need to find out SI minus A and after that, we need to find out SI minus A whole inverse. So, here I am just finding SI minus A value. So, here always the identity matrix that we need to consider equivalent to the order of A. So, that is why as the given A order as 2 by 2, I am considering my identity matrix order is also 2 by 2. So, that I got my SI value as S0, 0 S. Now, this is SI minus this is A. So, if I am doing SI minus A, the value equivalent to S minus of minus 3 plus 3, S plus 3 and 0 minus 1, minus 1 and here 0 minus 0 0 and here s minus of minus 2 s plus 2. So, now here this is my s sign minus a. So, after this you need to find out s i minus a whole inverse. For this we need adjoint of s i minus a and modulus of s i minus a. So, here I am going to find out the modulus of s i minus a. So, this is equal to s plus 3 into s plus 2. So, like that if you are writing adjoint for this s i minus a, so you can write like this d. So, that means s plus 2 minus b means plus 1 minus c means 0 a s plus 3. So, this is adjoint of this s i minus a. So, adjoint by modulus if you take adjoint by modulus that means s plus 3 into s plus 2. So, then this will be is equal to s i minus a whole inverse. This is s i minus a whole inverse. So, how you are going to get s i minus a whole inverse means so, s plus 2 divided by s plus 2 into s plus 3 1 by s plus 3 and 1 by s plus 2 into s plus 3 divided uh, sorry 0 divided by this one 0 s plus 3 divided by s plus 3 into s plus 2. So, 1 by s plus 2. So, 
SI minus C whole inverse matrix will be like this. But you want phi of t which is nothing but inverse transform of SI minus C whole inverse. So if you consider inverse Laplace transform then you are going to get e power minus 3 t u of t e power minus 2 t u of t minus c power minus 3 t u of t and 0 e power minus 2 t u of t. No need to consider u of t you can just consider e power minus 3 t e power minus 2 t minus c power uh, minus 3 t and e power minus 2 t also. No need to consider u of t every time and here we are having our phi of t in our hand and x of 0, x of 0 is nothing but 10 minus 10 whole transpose that means 10 minus 10, they given whole transpose means 10 by 10 minus 10 we need to consider like this. So here x of t is equivalent to the homogeneous solution is equivalent to given this one e power minus 3 t e power minus 2 t minus e power minus 3 t 0 e power minus 2 t into 10 minus 10. So, now you can multiply e power minus 3 t into 10 e power minus 3 t into 10 minus here these two multiplication. So, minus 10 e power minus 2 t plus 10 e power minus 3 t. Now here I am multiplying second one 0 into 10 e power minus 2 t. So, this is what we are going to get. So, here 10 e power minus 3 t plus 10 e power minus 3 t we can write it as 20 e power minus 3 t. So, you can see here I am writing, so by combining these two 20 e power minus 3 t minus 10 e power minus 2 t and 10 e power minus 2 t. So, this is the resultant matrix. So, we got x of t, if once you got x of t then to get x of, x of s is then you need to substitute t tending to infinity. So, if you substitute t tending to infinity here. So, xss is equivalent to limit t tending to infinity of this value. So, if you substitute t tending to infinity in all these terms what you are going to get? You are going to get 0, 0. Why? Because e power minus infinity, e power minus infinity, e power minus infinity. So, e power minus infinity is equivalent to 0. So, you are going to get 0, 0. So, the answer for this problem is xss is equivalent to 0, 0. So, like this way we can find the solution for homogeneous state equations as well as non-homogeneous state equations also.